right here, this idea was adapted by the Code of Pedagogy, and there is a podcast episode. You can find all the information in the speaker notes. Um, so you can kind of see right here um, is the deeper class discussion, and it's talking about this TQE model um, or way to have discussions. And so right here is kind of what Code of Pedagogy has. They have different start here type questions, and then the students move their discussions over to this column. So starting off with like, why did you like or dislike it? What surprised you? Then as the students have those discussions, moving them to like, why would the author do blank? What theme is the author trying to create by using? And then the kids can provide those textual evidence to support their classroom discussion. On slide two here, um, this is kind of for touching spirit bear, but you could go in and change it to whatever book you're reading, or maybe it's an article. And again, it's that TQE um, strategy. So thoughts, um, what thought did you have while reading? And then students can look at these kind of questions down here to answer. Feel free to kind of change them out with anything from the code of pedagogy that she kind of thought, but we thought it would be easier if the students had like a focus on the three areas. Can you connect this to another story? Can you connect this to your life? What emotions do you have while reading? Did you notice any symbol themes or patterns? So again, the kids are just kind of going through and what thoughts they have while reading and they're discussing with their group. Then we go over to questions. What questions are tough to answer? So what do you wonder about the character? What do you wonder about the plot? What do you wonder about the author? Then we go over to the aha moments um, that the kids had while they were reading. Maybe something that surprised them, or maybe they wanna make a prediction of what's gonna happen next. Did they figure something out about a character? Did they figure something out about the plot? Um, once the students kind of have these different discussions, they're gonna collect all their thoughts on a wakelet. So on slide three, you can put in these boxes your groups of your students. So again, you can type all of their names in these boxes. Um, so that way students know who they're working with in their groups. This wakelet you would probably have uh, for each of your different class periods. And students would click this. They would have collaborator, be a collaborator on these. And it's just three different topics. So again, um, I would go in here. And when I share this, I would want to share it. So let me go in here and let's see if I can. It's not letting me edit. Let me see if I can sign in. Let me see if I made it on my other account and then we can add a collaborator. So let me copy this wakelet. Let me go over to this account and then it should work. Okay, so um, now that I've got my wakelet up here, I can then go in here and I can have my students write their thoughts, their questions and so on on this wakelet. So they would click this plus sign and my students are able to write. They can add web links for maybe some connections that they made. They can add different images. They can even search GIFs. They can go in here and they're able to search the library. They can bookmark things. They can also come over here and add a PDF, or they can click this plus sign and add a video right into Wakelet. So again, students can come in here, add a video. They can add a YouTube video. Maybe they have something in their Google Drive. Maybe they made a poster. All of that can go on this TQE board for the students. When I'm ready, I can go to share and I want to invite collaborators. So this right here is the link that I want to share with my students. So if I'm going to that link and I go on this account, <clears throat> I should be able to now edit this and add my thoughts or questions or epiphanies. Okay, so again, I can go in here and add all of those different things onto this wakelet board. So I would just hit the plus sign and then I can start typing some questions I have. You can kind of see here, my students would again start to line up. So I might have one scribe for the group that is able to share all of these different TQE findings from their reading. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to share, invite collaborators and then copy. Also make sure that your um, collection is public so that way your students can access it. 
Then once I'm all done, I can hit done. Feel free to make a copy of my board. Um, you'll just go to the three dots and hit copy collection. Um, so I believe I did that. Let me double check. Yep. So you should be able to make a copy of that collection for your students. Um, and again, I would probably do one wakelet per class. So having that available for the students. Um, they suggested 15 minutes. So setting that timer for 15 minutes, students going through and talking about like what surprised them. They're, they're talking about all of these different questions for about 15 minutes. They're adding to the wakelet while they're talking about it. Then if you needed a longer timer, feel free to use one of these. This goes to 30 minutes, but you can just click and it will start at that random time that you selected if you want to do like seven minutes or whatever you're kind of looking for. Um, so again, just a great way for classroom discussion, breaking them into groups. The groups add to a wakelet board um, and then they can go from there. Uh, the original idea where we kind of saw this was on Facebook. So here's like a picture of a teacher and um, they just did it on the board. So they kind of just sketch noted it out that would be totally fine as well. So what we were kind of thinking is using this wakelet, students can add different gifts, they can add text, they can also add that Flipgrid video to maybe summarize what their group talked about. Um, but this is just as well a great idea, doing it on the whiteboard and sending students up there to kind of talk about what what is their um, TQA, what questions do they have, what, what thoughts did they have, and that kind of stuff as well. Can't wait to see how you're going to use this strategy in your classroom.